hello. So, my awkward moment is my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's pretty extremely awkward. Uh, you know, I seem... I do seem awkward, but it's not just how I am on the outside, it's more how I am on the inside, you know? Like, growing up, I was always just felt a little different inside, like never too different, but when I hit like middle school and stuff, bam, with like the puberty and the changes, I stopped feeling like the person I was born as, which was female. I was born female, and I felt more and more like a guy in my head, like trapped inside my head, and there's nothing I could do about it when I, like, and starting sixth grade, basically, that's when I just first identified the feeling, and just, it's, it's really hard just to come to terms that your mind and your body are completely separate, and there's nothing you can, uh, do about it at the moment, and it's not something people usually talk about, so, you know, I, I tried the best to cope, and, you know, be really feminine for like a year and try to you know squish the man feelings in my brain but that that did not work obviously <laughs> um yeah the beginning of ninth grade I just I was so unhappy with myself I couldn't even focus on my grades and just it, it was such a problem and I just I finally started to come to terms with this, that I learned the name transgender, and I just have become so more me than I have ever been in my life. Like, I go by Nick now, male pronouns, um, my dad calls me his son, which is the most amazing feeling, like, I can't even describe it, but just knowing someday that I'm going to be happy in, in my own body, I mean, yeah, it's pretty awesome, and I really hope this will get a lot less awkward when I grow up.